As sound designers, we want to make our game's world feel rich, alive, and transportive. Today, I'll show you how Immerse with VST Ambi Decoder can improve your workflow and inspire your sound design. Most game engines allow multiple types of spatialization for your audio, whether plain vanilla two-dimensional fixed stereo, surround sound, ambisonics, or 3D localized sound objects placed throughout the world. These individual sound objects are often preferred for sounds that can be close to the player or farther away. However, when used for ambiences and background sounds, it can result in a lot of different audio source hookups, and you end up waiting for somebody else to place them in the world. But what if a single audio emitter playing an ambisonics file could play back a detailed sound scene in all 360 degrees, responsive to your camera tilt and head movement, so that you can hear the space above and below you with just one sound emitter placed in your game? Or if you're designing a cutscene or in-game cinematic instead of a flat stereo mix, you could add more depth and dimensions to this experience by designing your sound with full 360 spatial details. Now while you're designing, how do you hear the sounds coming from all the directions without some specialized studio? How is the audio rendered? In Nuendo, using Immerse with Ambi Decoder, you can design your ambisonic sound scene conveniently with your favorite headphones and Immerse your personalized HRTF. Because with Immerse, your HRTF is personalized to your ear shape, it can accurately place you in the sound scene with all of the spatial details and crispness as if you were sitting in a studio surrounded by speakers in all directions. Today, we'll design a third order ambisonic sound scene in Nuendo with Immerse and deliver this into a PC game using Wise and the Unreal Engine. First, I'm going to show you how I set up this session in two main steps. Step one, set up your session for ambisonics. Please see the ambisonic setup guide video in the link in the description below for more details. In Studio Audio Connections, you'll create a third order ambisonics output bus. Next, you'll import your sounds. And when you import them, you'll want to make sure that you are routing them to the that third order ambisonics bus. You'll create a mix bus track, and this mix bus track will take the third order ambisonics input and output stereo. This conversion is done over here by the Ambi Decoder plugin, which takes us to step two. Set up your Immerse HRTF and the Ambi Decoder plugin. Please see the Immerse Quick Start Guide video for more details, and you can find that link in the description below. In the Steinberg Download Assistant, download the Immerse standalone application and create your profile. After your profile is complete, you'll return to Nuendo and be able to select your profile in the Immerse tab. Once your HRTF mode is selected, you're ready to start listening. For this demo, we're listening to Audio Kinetics Wise Audio Lab open source project with the Unreal Engine. Here's the selected demo scene. It's a stereo ambient seaside background. We'll listen to it first in its original stereo format. Please wear headphones while listening to this demo. Now this is a nice naturalistic sound scene and it's beautifully rendered, but I see some opportunities to do something a little bit more with this. What if we could get more of a sense of what's in front of us and what's behind us? What if we could get more of a sense of height for all that air and the sea breeze? What if we could get some ambience for those creepy buildings behind us? so that when we rotate the camera around, we can actually hear 
that as being in front of us rather than when we are facing the sea. Also, we have this kind of bucolic setting. It would be nice if we could also maybe have some birds and ambiences to evoke this kind of meadow that we're in at the sea edge. So let's see if we can pack all of that into one third order ambisonics file. Over here in this session, I have a few different folders of tracks. I have the water and sea, I have meadow ambience and city ambiences. Then down here, we have our mix bus. Be sure that is set to monitor. Since this video clip I'm using to design against was recorded with camera rotation, I'm adding this automation for the head tracking parameters in the Yambi Decoder plugin. So you'll be able to experience this as if it was rendered in the game in real time, but you'll be listening with my Immerse profile. Let's take a listen to it all together. Now, when you're designing for ambisonics, you're going to create a reference direction. And for this scene, the reference is facing this island. So front and straight out will be this view right here. So everything behind us will be the meadow and the city ambiences and everything in front of us will be the water and the sea. And that's how I have them all panned with the multi-panner. Let's take a closer look. I'm going to solo the water and sea elements so we can hear those all together. You'll notice that there's a variety of placements here for these tracks, but overall they're gonna be in front of us. The water lapping sound is going to be more straight out. It's a little bit more of a diffused water sound. You can see here I have the source size a little bit larger than default settings in order to create a more diffused field. Here on the shoreline ambience, this is birds and wind. So this is going to be panned way up above the sound sphere. Here we have the waves. This is going to be panned lower because we are on this cliff here always in this sound world. So the water will always be lapping against the cliff a little bit below the viewer. And here we have the wind. The wind is also panned with a larger source size way up above the viewer. And let's take a listen to those elements together. Next up, we have the meadow ambience. Now, all of the meadow is going to be panned to the back of our reference point. So these meadow birds are going to be behind us and above us. These distant seagulls, I decided to keep the sound source size small so that the individual seagull was still noticeable as coming from a specific location instead of a diffused location. It's still going to be behind us and above us in the sound scene when we're facing the water. And we have the insects which are going to be way down below us near our feet coming up from the grass. And let's take a listen.
And let's hear it when we're panned down. And next we have the city ambience. And I wanted to have a little bit of fun with the creepy vibe here. So there's a couple of spooky drone layers and these have a lot of lower frequencies. So you'll notice the directionality is a little bit lighter than with some of the other sounds which have more high frequencies. But there's also this city air which has some elements of traffic which kind of blend in with the drones and I think create this nice, creepy, abandoned city feeling. Everything is pretty much behind us and a little bit above us for the drones because I wanted them to feel like they're kind of hovering as well as that traffic sound so that somebody isn't going to go and try to chase down a car which does not exist. It's going to kind of hover in that drone space. Now, after my design is complete, since this will be a looping ambience sound, I copied my sounds over here in order to create my seamless loop. And I will remove the automation just to make sure that we are set straight on. And select my looping area here to export. And then I'll go to File, Export, Audio Mix Down, and I'll select Third Order Ambisonics out. Once I export it, my file is all ready for implementation. Step five, implement your sound in WISE. Open the WISE Launcher and find WISE Audio Lab under Sample Projects. Here you can download the executable and run that directly. And also download the WISE project and the Unreal source code if you're feeling adventurous. To implement my sound, I open WISE. I replace just one sound. The sound was an ambient source emitter that was already placed in the game scene on the water's edge. I muted all of the original water sounds so we can just hear the new sound. Here's the new sound that I added. Do be sure that when you import your ambisonic sound that the sound source is set to 16 ambisonics ambix. I also modified this project so that the ambience would be playing back in third order ambisonics. Now I'll just save the project and rebuild my sound banks in the Unreal Engine. Let's open the Unreal Engine project. Here we are at the same spot where we designed our sounds and I'm going to make sure that we are set for ambisonics, third order ambisonics, and we're going to be listening with NHRTF. And here is our main view. Let's take a listen. First we'll listen to the third order ambisonics.
gonna set this to a stereo channel configuration. So we'll actually hear how this would have sounded if it was just a stereo down mix instead. about you but I think I'm gonna go back to ambisonics as I'm really enjoying all this depth and details in the sound I hope you've enjoyed this video and can't wait to hear what Amphisonics can do for your game sound design. Check out your free trial of Immerse with VST Ambi Decoder in the link in the description below. Happy mixing!